everyone. My name is Betsy Esco, and I'm here with the Gaylord Area Council for the Arts. And we are continuing our program here of art and nature for youth. So we are incorporating nature with art to show you how it can easily mesh together and you can make beautiful art pieces. I do want to go ahead and thank, though, the Community Financial Credit Union uh, for the Summer of Sharing grant. Without their grant, their financial support, we would not be able to do this and supply all the needs for the youth to go ahead and make these projects. The project that I am starting on doing today is called Stone Mandala. Now, the word mandala means circle. Now, if you've ever seen some of my art pieces, I do a lot of repetition with circles and stripes in my art pieces. So that's a lot of the mandala concept, that you're working in full circle to create a piece with lineage, lights, and darks. And this actually is quite a soothing thing to do. So right here, this is one piece that you can kind of see. It goes from light to dark, working with dots. So this is dot mandala that I'm going to show you. Here we have stones actually here. We're working in full circle. Again, a different design creating straight out. Uh, this stone I felt needed the darkness because you really couldn't see the dotting too easily. And also here again with the lines with the lights to dark. So many different dimensions you can do yourselves. Again, with, with items that you have in your home. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what you're going to get in your kit. In your kit, you're going to get a paintbrush. The paintbrush, of course, is to use the blue to paint the dark, the dark background. And again, if you look at the back of this paintbrush, what a perfect circle to use for your mandala dots. Dotting with this, perfect, perfect circle. So you might have one of these at your home with different sizes. That's a good thing. Also, you're going to find right here, this is like a little dowel stick. Now, they're already sharpened for a little perfect point that you might need. And look at that back part, another perfect dot for dotting. Here we have a pencil. Pencil, a basic pencil you get for school from the dollar store. The eraser, a perfect, perfect dot for mandala. And look at the sharpened point. If you want a little teeny tiny dot, that is perfect. Also something you might have in your bag, that you do have a few of those have in your bag, is what, well, here we go here. Let's clean our ears, folks, but not today. Actually, what I'd like you to go ahead and do, you might have two of these in your bags. You might have three, you might have four. Go ahead and pull this little cotton piece off because that cotton piece I really don't want on one end. The reason being, it is a perfect dot for smaller dots. Pull it all off. Kind of dip your finger in some water or even in some of that acrylic paint. Kind of twist it so it's all pushed back. Look at that perfect dot. Perfect dot for a smaller dot for your mandala. Now, before we get started, what I'd like you to do too is open up your paints. You're going to have a white paint. Open it up. If it's a little rough to do, have somebody help you. Also, you'll have like a little paper plate and you're going to have a paper, a paper towel in your little bag there. So feel free. The only thing I think you'll need to do is find two stones. Bring two stones. They have to be a little smooth on one side. Make them about palm size. And also do wash them ahead of time. Give them a good time to dry. Here's your blue, your darker blue. Here is your turquoise, teal, whatever choice you may want to call it. I have kind of a lighter teal color here. And yellow. The reason I like my yellow, because I like my yellow here, I like to blend it. So with all of these colors, you get some great greens. So here we go here. Now what I'm going to start first is we do have another right here. We're going to, another one, of another, clean your ears, I just went blank when we call them. But I want you to go ahead and push on that end there. Push on that end. And I want you to kind of get a little bit, dip it in your little white there and push the end down. Because that makes a perfect twirl of the hair. That makes a perfect dot again, another perfect circle if you need it. Kind of twirl it a little bit and that will make a nice little dot. I think I need a little more of this acrylic paint on there. This is basic acrylic paint you get from the dollar store, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Myers. It's acrylic paint, not tempera paint, but acrylic paint. So I've got that one set and let it set to the bottom, put it over there and let it dry. Now first off to start, here's the rocks I chose. This rock here, it's got a good triangular shape, smooth right along here, but look how porous the back is. If it's porous like that, that's not a good part to use for your mandala. 
So go ahead and just check for the smoothest parts. Go ahead and feel them. Now this one here, it's, again, look at a little bumpy in the back here. But this section here is nice and flat. So first off, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this one blue. You don't have to paint the whole thing blue. You can if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of dip it in my water a little bit. Take this blue, and I want to paint the surface of this one blue. The reason I'm doing this one first is because I want it to dry while we're working on the other stone. See how I'm just kind of going in a perfect little shape, perfect little circular shape. Now don't pour your paint out. Leave your paint in its containers. I think it works better that way, especially if you're dipping your ends in there to make your perfect circles. Now kind of finish your end off a little bit here. Might get a little water on this one here. Here we go. Just want all those little pores to fill in a little bit so you don't see any open dots. Gonna finish this little section here and off we go. Right like that. So let's go ahead and just set that down and let it dry while we work on a stone. Set that to the side. Do make sure you clean just the end of your brush a little bit with water. Get yourself a paper cup or something and then just wipe it and just get it all that little paint off. Now we're going to start very, very, I love this kind of, I love this one right here. I'm going from light to dark. So let's go ahead and go from light to dark. Now I look in my tools here. I'm just going to call them tools. It makes it easier. I find my eraser is the biggest one and that's where I want my first dot to start. Now as you kind of realize the dots, they're all kind of lined up together and that's how you kind of create your circle. Kind of in nature and everything we do, everything comes in full circle. And I love these colors because these are kind of nature colors, sea colors, sky colors. So we're going to work on that way here. So first off, go ahead. Again, don't empty anything out of your colors. I'm going to go ahead and here's my stone here. I'm going to kind of cockamamie. So if it's a little crooked, that's okay. I'm going to kind of dot in my white. Kind of dot it in and see how much paint I have on there. It almost makes a little ice cream cone tip like that. Go ahead and take that. Find the center of where you want it to be and give it a dot. Pull straight up. There's my dot. Make sure you take your paper towel and just kind of twirl a lot of that paint off as you do it. Now I want to go ahead and go around and I want to make some dots going all the way around. I still want to use the white color because I'm going to follow with a pattern here. Take the end of your pencil, dip it in the white, and look at right there. Good dipping on the white. Now I'm going to go top right here, if you can see it, to bottom. Now make sure you dip each time in the paint so that the dots are about the same size. So around I go again. You know, notice I went straight up and down? I'm going to go straight across both sides. Dot. Now if you go a little far out, that's okay. Or if they get a little sloppy, it doesn't matter. Dot. I got my dots. Now between, see how it's kind of like a little square outside that circle? I'm going to have enough paint to fill two little dots in between. So now I'm going to go dot, dip again, dot, dip again, dot, dip again, dot. See right in between those dots. Dip again, dot, dip again, dot, dip again, dot, dip again, dot. Now looking at it upside down, I think I did pretty good. There's my dots. Now make sure you take, you wipe your pencil tip off and put it down. Now I like to go light to dark. Now the next color is kind of a yellow but I want a pale yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of that yellow. So just kind of tip some of that yellow onto your paper plate that you have. Just a very little bit of it. There you go. I got like a little, see it's kind of dripping on down there. Take some of my white. So I have that pale yellow. So it goes from white to really pale yellow. And so at this point I take whatever I want to use. I think I'm going to use the point of my pencil. Stir it around till you get that kind of pale yellow that you think you like. Stirring it up a little bit here. I think I want a little bit more yellow in there. So I'm just going to dibble a little bit more yellow in there. Am 
My yellow is nice and clumpy. I like it like that for this one here. Stir it up. There we go. Now what I'm going to do on this one here, I got a nice, nice, nice pale yellow. Make sure, again, you kind of wipe the tip of that pencil off. You're going to need to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and I use, remember I told you to go ahead right here? Take the end. Again, you can go straight across. Straight across. See those sizes? Dip. Top. Dip. Did your top and bottom. See that one's not quite perfect? That's okay. But you want to dip every single time. Now I have enough to go two in between both of those. So I'm going to go dot, dip, dot, dot, there we go. Right in between. See, the, this one right here is not very perfect, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more to it. Now you can add a little bit more later on. Now see how it's nicely balanced, nicely in full circle? Go ahead and wipe it down again. Now I want to go ahead and I do want to add some, I do want to add a little bit more light to dark. So I do have some of this pale yellow still and I've got some turquoise. So I'm going to pour a little bit of my turquoise down. Now I can add a little bit of my pale yellow or I can add some of my white. I'm going to add some of that little pale yellow since I've got enough of it. Mix it all up a little bit. That's kind of a fun little pale, pale, fun little greenish tone. But I'm going to add a little more yellow to it. You can mix and match any of your colors, but remember we want to go light to dark. Again, wipe your tools off. As you go, wipe your tools off. So here I go again. I'm going to go top to bottom, side to side, dip. Here's my top. Now, you kind of have to watch it my way right here so I get close enough when I'm upside down. There's my perfect dot. Now, sometimes you have to dot it twice because these are porous rocks. There we go on the bottom. Are we seeing it? And then, okay, I want to go straight across, dot. See, it's not quite perfect there, so I'm going to dot on top of it again. There we go. And dot across. Now, I've got a little crooked there, but that's okay. I can balance it out. So I'm just going to actually go one dot on each one in between each one, not two. So one dot in between each one. One dot. Are we seeing it? Putting the dots in place. Putting the dots in place. See, it does show off just a little bit as crooked, but that's okay. Right through there. Now, at this point, I do love the color I used there, so I'm just going to kind of wipe my tool off again. Wipe your tool off. I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm actually going to dot one, two, three around the top of each one. So take a big, good, a big scoop, first dot. Because I want my dots to be a little smaller on the side, dot and dot. Notice I didn't dip it again. If you use a pencil, your first dip is going to be the big one and then it's going to go smaller dot, smaller dot, smaller dot without dipping it. So here we go, a big dip, big dot, dot, dot. Got a little too small there so I'm going to dot again because of the porous rock. Now remember, these right here we're trying to get an even balance all the way around. And if it's not totally balanced, it can always be hidden within the dots. It's not a problem. Dot, dot, and dot. Here we go. I'm twisting and turning. Notice how we're going light to dark still. Dot, dot, dot. I'm using the same green. Oh, that one did not grow in. Dot. There we go. Turn your rock as you can, if you can hold it. What I like to do is I like to make these mandala stones, and I like write, um, take a magic marker, a permanent marker on the back, and write little messages and leave them on the beach. I think that's kind of fun to watch people's response. A dot, a dot, a dot. 
This little dot didn't work. There we go. It was too porous on that spot. Here we go, my dot. Again, we're working in repetition, and that's what the mandala is, repetition. Repetition to create pattern. We're coming to full circle on a lot of this. There we go. See how that's showing up? That's making a beautiful light to dark. Wipe your tool off, your tool being your pencil. Now I do have the turquoise already raring to go. So I'm going to go ahead and use the back of my pencil. It's a little bit bigger. And I am going to dot in between each one of these. I want to try to get it as close as possible. So let's see what happens. Here's my turquoise teal. Look at that good little, looks like a little ice cream cone on the end of it. A good dip. Push it right there. And just see the little bit of change of color. There's not a whole lot of change that you can see maybe on camera, but you can see it's gradual in the color. It's pretty amazing, actually. It's kind of fun. Right in between. And it did kind of touch that one a little bit. That's okay. Dip. I did it again. Right in between this one, dip. This is just one pattern. Can you imagine what you can do on your own? Dip. These are actually beautiful gifts to give people. Uh, you can go to the craft store, you can go to Walmart, or go in your own little bag at home and pull out a Christmas ornament, a big round Christmas ornament, and do this on. Do this on an ornament. What an amazing gift it would be for somebody, a big artistic gift. And it doesn't necessarily have to be hung just for Christmas. And here are the beautiful dots going all the way around. Now I want to kind of change up a little bit here because I've got this light to dark, light to dark, and I want to bring some of the dark in. So now I'm going to work on some of my blue. Now my blue itself, I'm going to go ahead and take the back. This is just a hair smaller. I want to take the back of my brush, the very end where it's nice and flat. Yours might be a little rounded or a little pointed, and still that makes an amazing dot tool. So I want to go ahead and I just want to go dot right over the top of each of those right over right over the top so here I go I'm making my own pattern going light to dark and here's my little ice cone look at that kind of little pointy over there dip it and I'm going right out the back and see it's so porous right there it didn't dip very good there we go dip dot I'm gonna dip I'm gonna dot dip dot. Here we go. Dip. Dot. Oh, that one touched that one a little bit. I think that's good. Dot. Dip and dot. See how we're at right now? Dip and dot. Isn't that an ice cream? Dip and dot. Something like that. This one didn't turn out so good, so I'm going to dot right over the top. As you can kind of see where I had those three little dots right here, that's a big wide open space. So I'm gonna clean my tool off a little bit. Put this stone down for two seconds, clean my tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this little wooden dowel stick that's to a point. Because what I want to do is I want to go ahead and where I've got three dots on top, I'm gonna to put some blue dots on top. Three blue dots. Let's see how big they're gonna look. Dip it, make sure you dip it. And then dot one right there, dot. It's really dark, it's hard to see. So unless you're right there, and I, this is too porous of a rock for this, so I'm gonna go back to my pencil. I'm gonna dip my pencil in, make a dot, make a smaller dot. Remember they go smaller and a smaller dot. You can't see it very easily, but you'll see the color as we go on. So I'm gonna move this really quick. I'm gonna dot above the little dot, those, por those are very porous right in that spot there. Dot, dot, dip, dot, dip, dot. Move to the next one. Dot. If you don't think you do your lines or your, you line up very well, you can draw your design if you want with pencil on top of your rock. But I, I like the freedom of just doing 
going to twirl it. So remember, I'm putting my blue dots just above the little green ones. Dot, dot, dot. Right above those teal green ones. Dot, dot, dot. Switch it up. Right there, dot, dot. With my pencil, makes perfect dots. Seems even these porous rocks, this pencil makes really perfect dots. And a dot, dot, and dot. See how it's going there? We've got perfect, perfect right there. Now I'm kind of liking my blue. And I see I've got a lot of yellow there still on my plate. So I'm going to take some of my blue and pour it into the yellow and see what color I come up with. It will be a green, but what, how dark of a green or how yellow of a green am I going to get? Because I like to go, again, as I said, light to dark. I'm going to stir it all up. And I'm not liking the color. It looks more muddish than a greenish. So I'm just going to leave that one there on my plate. So let's go ahead and go back to the white. I'm going to add, I've already done my light to dark. So let's add some white in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the white dots in between all of these. Use my pencil eraser. I like that one there. Dip your white. Again, has to look like an ice cream cone. Right between the two blue right between the two blue. You can see the pattern emerge even further. Dip and dot, dip and dot. It's a repeat pattern. It's supposed to be very smoothing as you work on this, organizes your brain a little bit, coming to full circle. Again, this is utilizing nature, the things we have in nature to make art. Look at that there. I think that's pretty amazing right there. Now I'm going to finish this up here. I like the way this is, but I'm going to finish this up with a little bit right here. I think I'm going to go ahead and make white dots on top of the blue with my pencil. White dots on top of the blue. All the way around, white dots on top of the blue. It's even kind of coming around the edge there, which I kind of like that. White dots on top of the blue, on top of the blue. Again, this is with a pencil. Everybody might have a pencil around. On top of the blue, on top of the blue, on top of the blue. Here we go, working through the design here. Now I'm going to kind of rinse off this here a little bit because I had a lot of paint on that. Kind of set this down, clean your tool a little bit. And I do have some of this beautiful turquoise left. So I'm going to take that turquoise that I have, kind of that blue, that greenish yellowish turquoise, and just go ahead and put a dot between. A dot right here between, right over there. The dot that's in between the two blue, it's got the dots. I'm going to follow it up with a dot. It's not a perfect dot because it's porous, but that's okay. There we go there, right between the dot and the blue. You can put your dots where you choose to put them, and you can continue on even when we're done, if you choose to, if you want to keep it going. But again, you see the pattern from light to dark, and then the light circle on the outside. Putting the dot, that one kind of slipped a little bit, but that's okay. And dot. So here, this one, I am pretty much finished with this one. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to leave it alone, and I'm going to let it sit for a little while. And I'm going to let it dry. And once it dries, I'll look at it and see what's kind of soaked into the rock and see what's still on top of the rock and see how the colors mesh. But I really like the pattern there. So I'm going to put that one down. Let it dry. Now, this mandala that I did earlier, I do like that one itself, but I think because I've got some beautiful colors here, I might want to dot on top of some of those. So I can take what I've got, I can add to it. I've got the turquoise blue dots all the way around. I think I want to add a dot right in the center of each one. Just a little variance of color, but I think it makes it pop. So a perfect dot on top of each one. Remember, you dip and dot. Dip and dot. 
I'm going to dip, and I'm going to dot. Dip, dot, dip, dot, dip, dot, dip, dot, all the way around. Dip, dot. I think it adds a little dimension to it. Dot, dip, dot. Now as it dries, you're barely going to be able to see it, but it does show a little bit of dimension, which I think is kind of cool. I still have a lot of this left, so I'm going to go ahead and right where I've got that pale green yellow, I'm going to put a dot on top of that one too. So dot, 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 dip and dot. Oops, kind of slipped off that a little bit. Go ahead and wipe it. If it slipped, wipe it and get it off because it's dried. I can do that. So here I go. I'm going to dot it again. Dip, dot. See it's dotting and it will dry a little bit darker. Dip and dot. Dip, dot. Care if you don't get too much on there, which I kind of did on that one that kind of slipped. And dot. And I like this color for that repeat pattern really well. So there it is right there. I added some extra, a little bit more dimension. I'm going to go ahead on that white. I'm going to put a dot of green right smack dab in the middle of that white. There we go. Now I'm going to call that one good. So I'm going to leave that letter dry. Again, this was dry and I came back and worked it. So feel free to any of those to go ahead and do that. Now here we go. Our blue is dry. So we can go again and do a light to dark should we choose to. Now I do like the fact that the blue is so dark here. So I want to see what this light green is going to look like in the center. So I get a good amount on the back here. This is going to be my center. Make sure it looks nice and nice and full right there. Go right to the center and drop it. Okay, my circle is not perfect, but there we go. I kind of like that color. So I'm going to go light to dark again. So I'm going to go ahead and I do want to go ahead and maybe make some bigger circles outside that one there. And I'm going to go ahead and do my white. Back of my eraser, I'm going to go right, right top. I'm doing this real close. Dip again, bottom. They kind of touched a little bit. That's okay. I kind of liked it that way. Right there as close as I can as close as I can. This is going to be much smaller piece. See that there? Let's clean my tool off a little bit with water. This one here has a little bit of paint on it still, so I'm going to get that off there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the back of my paintbrush here because it's just a hair smaller. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of that turquoise on there. Turquoise. That was the darker turquoise right there right between the two whites, between the two white ones there, and the blue. I had to dip that one twice because it's porous. Right straight across. Remember I'm going straight across and up and down. And there we go. And this has a beautiful diamond shape I'm seeing on this stone and I'm kind of liking that diamond shape. So let me go ahead and I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to go ahead and um, I've got the blue there, the yellow. I'm going to just make this one here. Go back and get these kind of this, this greenish, lightish color that I had. And just put a dot right on the top of the blue. Dip and dot. See, that's a bigger dot. So I'm going to have to go and dip and make this one a bigger dot. So it balances. Again, these are items that you have at home. Dot. And dot. I liked that the way it went right through there so I'm going to add another dot right to the back there of that dot right to the back. This is my own pattern I'm working on and I'm kind of liking the balance so do it yourself as far as any kind of pa pattern you want but start with a central dot and work your way out and dot. Now okay I do have my white one since I've got enough I've got enough of this pale greenish I'm going to go right here on the white, right here on the white, right here on the white. It's much easier if you've got your rock flat, folks, but that's okay. I want to make sure you see. 
and right here on the white. Now what I want to do here is I really like those. I really like those. So here we go here. Remember, don't clean your ears out with these ones, folks. This one I've torn the, the cotton off the back of it there. I'm going to take some yellow. I'm going to dip in my yellow and see how my yellow will come right in between the dot right next to the, the turquoise dot right there. Dot, dip, and dot. Yellow seems to be quite transparent, even though it's the same yellow, same brand of paint, it just comes across a little bit on the transparent. So I don't use it too often, but I do like the nature colors of the yellow. Dot and dot. And here we have pretty much it's growing and it's getting bigger and bigger and I'm liking more and more what I see. So I actually want to add a little bit more to the yellow. That's my personal choice. So straight up between the two yellows, straight up of the green, I'm going to add a yellow dot. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add two, dot and dot. See how they kind of touched and joined, but that's okay. So straight up, dot, dot. A little bit on the transparent side, dip and dot here, dot, dot, dot. Now this is one I'm going to let dry a little bit, and then I'm going to add on top of the yellow because the yellow is a bit on the transparent side. So here we go, top, dot, and dot, still transparent, right up here, dot, and dot. You can kind of see it's starting to really take shape. Dot. There we go. Right here. Dot and dot. And I'm kind of seeing, okay, I kind of, this one little spot here, it looks like it's a little vacant. So I can go ahead and add a dot into there so it kind of balances, even though it's not part of the pattern. And there we go here. Now this one here, I'm going to go ahead and let dry and then I'm going to add to it later. So that is my decision on this one here, my mandala. Again, if you look at them, your own patterns, your own shapes, but they're all worked within mandala dotting, coming to full circle to create a soothing piece of art. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Any questions, feel free to contact us, contact me here at the gallery, but enjoy making mandala, and I hope to make up many, many of them. I see many of them out on the beach sometimes, so I know you actually took the class from us. So have a great day and hope to see you soon.